What's going on everybody? Stan here back with a little mini moonshine talking. So I told somebody in my comments I had some Moto stuff, some Master of the Universe stuff. So I figured I don't really have much else to talk about at the moment. So I figured I'd show some of the crap off that I have from my childhood. So you can kind of get an idea of all the various Masters of the Universe figures I have. I don't have a large collection, but that's it. I won't go into great detail talking about it, but Evil Horde, Snake Man, all, a couple He-Man, uh, good guy ones. If I were ever trying to dispel the rumor that I'm a Star Wars nerd, this isn't helping. That's my little Star Wars collection. Pretty much keep all this stuff as decoration at this point, but of course, you know, I'm a kid, I grew up in the 80s, so I grew up with Star Wars. I don't know if anybody remembers these things, but these are little muscle figures. Millions of unusual small creatures lurking everywhere was the acronym. That's what it came out to be. Yeah, one day I'll have to pull all these things out and, and set them up, and you can see how many of these friggin' things I have. But they're pretty cheap, and they're fun to screw around with as a kid. Yeah, there's that. And hold on one Then we got over here. I don't know if you remember Rambo having a cartoon, as well as the uh, preceding figure line that came out. So that's what a bunch of those are, a bunch of DC and Marvel figures that I had, a couple G.I. Joes. I have a couple others, but, you know, that's pretty much, you see, that's what we got there. Uh, Martian Manhunter, Batman, Firestorm, uh, Penguin. You know, all the stuff from the, the cartoon, uh, Big Boa, Mainframe, uh, What's-Her-Face, uh, Scarlet from G.I. Joe. And, of course, moving up, go to the wrestling stuff that I got, all the old LJN 80s wrestlers, the Sheik, Volkov, of course, Hogan, Tito Santana, Chico Santana. That's what I used to call him when I was a commentator. I once wrestled Bob Backlund. Then you got the old uh, Remco AWA ones, of course, right up front. Are my favorites. Hawk and Animal, the Road Warriors, LOD. Got Ric Flair in the back there is the fabulous ones, Steve Kern and Stan Lane. The High Flyers, uh, Jumpin' Jim Brunzel and Greg Gagne. The Long Riders, which was Scott the Hog Irwin and Wild Bill Irwin. Uh, over here, a couple more, Baron Von Raschke. Our dog chewed that up when we were kids. Got a couple little mini Sheik and Hillbilly gems. Some Thundercat stuff. Uh, Cops, if you remember that show, that was a very obscure 80s cartoon from Saturdays when I was growing up. And moving up here, uh, Chuck Norris had a cartoon on Saturday mornings. And that was the preceding toy line that came with it. I don't have any Chuck Norris figures, sorry. Uh, and then the Silverhawks, that, that was another one. Uh, allegedly, they've been trying to make a live action of that. I, I don't know what the deal is with that, but I pretty much had most of the line from that one. And then a few more G.I. Joes, of course, up here. Had to separate the Sergeant Slaughter from the, the rest of the pack. And then, uh, yeah, and then moving up here, I got a Voltron, Voltron figure. That Tales of, from the Crypt sign, I got that from Realms of Rock. Uh, Eddie threw that in with the order I got with him. In the background there is a Hillbilly Grim that I got from uh, Revic from Morden Red. I framed that and put it up. I thought that was pretty good. And that is, that, that's a, a replica belt in the back there that I got for a birthday or Christmas. It was a gift. And then those are my first pair of wrestling boots that I just leave them displayed because they probably will never get used again. But yeah, so that's that. I hope you enjoy it. I don't really have much to talk about, but that's what I got. So I figured I'd share. Hopefully people enjoy it and see what a giant dork I am. All right, later.